can't beat me, Bruce. You need me. I'm the villain of your dreams. The shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. You broke my heart, John. I did need you. I cared about you. But you took what I gave you and you twisted it into something ugly and wrong. Ugly? Wrong? If you ever loved me, you'd see what we have now. It's beautiful! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Please! value. Even yours. Reciting from the old code again, Bruce? You cling to it like a security blanket, hoping if you just hold on, you'll never fall into the darkness. <laughs> Remember that night, drinking frappes under the stars, you dishing out advice about the ladies, me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew someone like you 
should never really be friends with someone like me. But I wanted to believe it so badly. <laughs> we had some good times, didn't we, Bruce? It wasn't all bad. Yeah, sure. Some of it was fun. I, I hope you look at that scar and remember those good times. <laughs> You can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know we're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. I'll seal your case file for good. Thank you. If the wrong people found out who I am... That's not going to happen. At least not because of me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? Catwoman. I thought you'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? Anyone else you're concerned about? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the Agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. So, what else? And Avesta, is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. You get that, right? I can't let a betrayal of that magnitude go unpunished. Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her sometime. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Miss Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox copped to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. 
But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. I'm aware of your history with her. With her father. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. My people will let you know where to find her. Take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. 